everyone. Today I'm going to tell you some facts about planets. Please show it to your kids so they learn about it. So let's start it. What's out there? Ready? Let's go. Let's zoom into space. Let's zoom past the moon. Let's visit the stars and the planets. The rocket is zooming into space. Lift off. Most stars have families of planets. The planets in a family orbit or travel around the star. Some stars have only one planet, others have many. Our sun is a star. Earth orbits the sun. Earth is a rocky planet. One million Earth's cloud fit into the sun. Gas planets and rocky planets orbit our sun. They are all part of the sun's family. Here are the giant gas planets. They are far, far away from the sun. Clouds of gas swirl. There's nothing to land on. There's nothing to stand on. The gas planets are bigger than the rocky planets. The gas giants have rings spinning around them. And the gas giants' names are Neptune, Uranus, Saturn and Jupiter. Hang on to your space helmet. Neptune is a windy gas planet. The gas on Neptune makes the planet look blue. Neptune has freezing winds. They blow at more than 1930 kph. Gas giant Uranus is tipped on its side. It's the only planet that spins on its side. Saturn is famous for its rings. Saturn's rings are made of bits of ice and rock. Gas giant Jupiter does things in a big way. It's the biggest planet in the sun's family, Italy. It also has huge storms. One has been blowing for over 300 years. The great red spot is a giant storm. This is the great red spot. You can see an arrow pointing to it and it's red and yellow. In this picture, it's storm and its spot is a big asteroids rock. Asteroids area rocks. Most area in the asteroid belt. This area lives between Jupiter and Mars. The dwarf planet Ceres is there too. A dwarf planet is a little planet. Ceres is a rocky dwarf planet. I'm showing you some rocks in the asteroid belt and I think you can guess the asteroids. So, it says most area in the asteroid belt, this area lives between Jupiter and Mars. Rocky planets are Earth, Mercury, Venus and Mars. The rocky planets are made mostly of solid rock. None of the rocky planets have rings. Mars and Earth have moons. Earth has one moon. Mars has two moons. Mars is called the red planet because it is coated with the red dust. It looks red hot. It is really very, very cold. And Mars has the biggest volcano called Olympus Mons and it has more volcanoes too. I am showing you the picture of Mars is volcano called Olympus Mons and it is three times larger than Mount Everest, the highest mountain on earth which is Earth has been called the Goldilocks planet because it is just right for living things. I'm 
showing you a picture of a plant which is on earth as we all know that earth is the planet which is all right for living things and there's a mini beast crawling on the leaf do you think you have ever seen it i guess you have and i guess you know the name too if you don't i'll tell you the name its name is a ladybird watch out venus traps the sun's heat the planet is hot 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 it sizzles the air on venus is very thick and venus cannot cool down because it is too close to the sun but it's the second planet mercury stays or hotter than a pizza oven mercury is hot during the day and mercury nights are very cold but its nights are freezing meet some other members of our sun's family homea make make eries the ice dwarf planets orbit our sun in the cold space past neptune we are spotting more ice dwarfs every year there may be hundreds of them pluto is the most famous ice dwarf our sun is one of lots and lots of stars other stars have planet families too we call these planets exoplanets we have found over 1000 exoplanets we sent a telescope to spot exoplanets welcome back to earth what else is out there we are finding exciting new things every day in the coming years we'll find out much more about the planets in our sun's family and those far far away now i want to show you some pictures of planets which i made on pieces of paper so i'll show you the planets i made on pieces of paper i made series which is the smallest dwarf planet i made mars which is the first coldest planet near the sun and i made the moon which gets its light from the sun and i made the moon which is bright because the sun hits its light to the moon sometimes too that's why it shines all the time and i made venus which is the hottest planet but the second planet from the sun i also made its bright colors of because it's hot and i made earth which is the only planet with organic life and i made mercury which is the second hottest planet and its nights are so freezing and i made it with its dark black spots and it's the fastest planet which spins around and mercury is the smallest planet i made the sun i made it so orange i made it little bit red and little bit yellow and i also wanted to tell you some things about it so let me tell you the sun is a star and it is made up of hot gases and fire it gives heat to the planets which are near them For example the moon earth and venus and mercury are the closest 
things to the sun. So they are the hottest planets and hot and if a spacecraft flew right towards the sun it would melt and the planets which are far far away from the sun are very cold like Mars, Pluto, Maya, Jupiter and Saturn and etc. And I made Saturn which is cold because it is far far away from the sun and as I said the planets which are far from the sun are cold isn't it? I just said that a minute ago isn't it? And Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune as we all know. And Saturn's rings are made of rock and ice. And Saturn has more rings than one ring, okay? And I made Jupiter, which is the biggest planet in our solar system. You could fit all the planets in one go inside Jupiter. And it also has a giant red spot, which is a great storm. Also, Neptune has a great dark spot, which is its giant storm. And we'll talk about that later when Neptune comes. And you can see that it's a gas giant because it has a ring all the gas giant planets have rings spinning around them and they have nothing to stand on so you'll fall out of those planets and i made make make which is the third biggest dwarf planet and it also is a ship which is a perfect sphere and its colour is brown. And I made Uranus with its ring and you can also notice that this is a gas giant too which means if you landed on it you wouldn't land on Uranus you will fall down from the planet like Jupiter and Saturn and Neptune and it is cold and it also has 13 rains each day and I made Poludo which is brown and I wanted to tell you that its surface is so icy that if you stand it on the surface you would slip and slide like ice skating. I made Eries, which is the furthest planet from the sun, known as a dwarf planet. And Eries, his surface is icy too, which means you will slip around Eries. And Eries is very cold. There are more planets then Eries which are far far away from the sun but we don't know these planets yet isn't it and Eries is bigger than Pluto and Pluto is the second biggest dwarf planet in our solar system and I made Neptune with its great dark spot which is its storm it's dark blue. I think you can see it right beneath its ring. And because it has a ring, I guess you can notice that it's a gas giant. And it's the fourth biggest planet. And Neptune has six rings. And Neptune is a gas giant, which means if you went into the planet and standed on it, you wouldn't stand on Neptune. You would fall out of Neptune.
down and down and down. Hey, Tomea, with its oval shape, because it's an oval. It's the only oval planet because of its fast rotations. And it has two moons, and you would even slip and slide on Humea like you would do on Pluto and Make Make and Eevees. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Next time, I'll come up with a new video. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.